The 2020-21 domestic league season has come to an end, so we thought we'd take a look at some of the biggest winners and losers from across Europe this year. Welcome to StatPack. Let's start with the Premier League, where Manchester City ran away with the title. That wasn't undeserved as they had comfortably the highest expected goal difference of any team in the league. Whilst Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United fared well on this metric as well, justifying their top four status. The standout name in fifth here, though some 11 places higher than their actual finishing position, is Brighton. Graham Potter's side expected goal difference is almost 20 goals above their actual rate and a 16th place finish should be seen as seriously unlucky. Watch out for the Seagulls next season. At the other end of the table, Fulham can consider themselves unlucky to go down, with their underlying numbers better than at least five other teams, three of which ended up finishing above them. If they can sustain that performance, then they should have no trouble getting back up next season. What about Syria, where Inter Milan had a similarly untroubled path to the title? What's interesting here is according to these underlying numbers, Juventus and Atalanta were on par with Antonio Conte's side. As we said on Snapback a few weeks ago, a deeper look at Atalanta's figures reveals they've been quite lucky in terms of their finishing, so this might be a red herring. But these teams were definitely tighter than their points totals suggests, and next season will be very interesting indeed. Now to Spain, where Atletico Madrid took a first La Liga title in seven years. The story here is Barcelona, whose expected goal numbers were a lot better than both the champions and indeed Real Madrid. Again, we profiled Barcelona's attacking resurgence in the second half of the season in an earlier episode, and whilst it wasn't enough to carry them over the line this time around, their underlying performances were very good this year. In fact, when those same expected goal numbers are used to rank every side in Europe's top five leagues, Barcelona are the only Spanish side to feature in the top 15, and they boast a better figure than each of the German, French, Italian, and indeed Spanish champions. There were narratives wherever you looked in Europe this season, and not all of them were backed up by the stats, but there were winners and losers everywhere, and we already can't wait to get going again in August.